Hi, everybody. It is July 28, 2018. I have been receiving a lot of information from subscribers that I want to pass along to you. Welcome to Richford, Vermont. This is just south of the Canadian border. And guess what, Richford? Your drinking water is a carcinogen. Richford drinking water tests positive for possible carcinogen. Any of you in Richford, Vermont, pass this along to your neighbors. There is a fundraiser for the grandmother and the two and her two grandsons. They were found. I posted a video with a rather heartbreaking tweet from someone who works at a restaurant and the cook at the restaurant was beside himself and well the home is gone and this was just recently updated the Ed Bledsoe and family lost all and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name so many people have lost their homes uh, Ed was not under an evacuation he was in the middle of preparing, getting supplies when the fire struck his home. His wife and two great-grandchildren were home. We are still urgently seeking the three family members that are missing. Well, they were found. And they died in the fire. So anything that you can donate would be greatly appreciated by by Ed and don't want to hear it. If you want to help out, go ahead. If you don't, don't leave some nasty, cruel, heartless comment, please. It will just be deleted anyway. But there are an awful lot of people in need and it continues. And every disaster it takes an awful long time so we see disaster after disaster after disaster and they're all mounting up and in the areas where these disasters are taking place if there was a disaster there within the last couple of years you can be guaranteed that a whole lot of lives are still suffering the consequences of it um, I want to just go through some of the other fires. Sometimes when we see a fire like the car fire just rage out of control, blow up, explode, and take out so many homes. There's an awful lot of focus on that one fire, but there are fires going on all over the place, wildfires that have just started within the last couple of days that need to be watched because oh high winds dry conditions and you know these hot hot days are they too going to explode but these fires are raging out of control there's 83 wildfires just in the United States but I'll show you some of what's happening in Canada. Homes. It looks like it's just homes. Again, homes. There seems to be a consistent pattern with all of these wildfires. Right? Look at the consistent pattern. Wildfires rage across Oregon. Okay, so the substation wildfire that I posted on, I think, last week that now I think is 98 percent contained thank God well there's more wildfires I said this is the worst season they've seen relentless raging flames haunting farmers who just can't catch a break tonight fires continue burning across Oregon this is point six news at 11 o'clock I'm Jennifer Hoff Jeff is off tonight let's start with south of the Dalles near Duford the 17,000 acre long 
Long Hollow Fire there is keeping a community already rocked by the substation fire on its toes. As it jumps the Deschutes River into Sherman County, level one evacuation is now in place there. And this is the Garner Complex fire roars in the southern part of the state, now forcing mandatory evacuations for some areas. Our Cole Miller joins us now live with more on what's been a hectic wildfire season, Cole. And Jennifer Hectic is right. Down there near Grant Pass, the governor just recently toured that Garner Complex fire. And closer to home, we've learned that fire out in Wasco County was sparked by a piece of farming equipment. It's the fiery okay. glow of um, the Long Hollow fire as seen from... You can listen to the governor if you want to, but I can't. I, I, I literally just can't listen to these people anymore. So, Stevens County, which I believe is in Washington, well, here they're saying to look out for people who are intentionally starting these fires. The sheriff's office is asking for people to be on the lookout for someone who may be intentionally setting brush fires near hunters. The sheriff's office and the Department of Natural Resources are investigating four suspicious brush fires. Each was set in the last four weeks and burned under an acre. If you see anything out of the ordinary, you are asked to call the Stevens County Sheriff's Office. That number is right there on your screen also. Do you remember, I posted a video on this. It was in the ISIS magazine. Interesting that these terrorist organizations now come up with these glossy magazines. But ISIS was calling for you know, these lone jihadists, go out and start these fires. And I believe they said the United States. Um, well, you know what? They have to put that stuff out. It's just this preemptive, um, uh, uh, plausible deniability. Oh, it's terrorists. Oh, it's the homeless. Oh, it's uh, somebody driving a car and they had a flat tire. Uh, oh, it's farm equipment. Oh, it's someone else starting brush fires. And, and I'm not saying that some of these fires, you know, were not, you know, that they're all that they're all started deliberately uh, these directed energy weapons or I'm not saying that but when you see fires like the car fire or the um, when you see these fires that are taking out residential areas and all you're seeing is the homes and the cars targeted okay you got the Keithley Creek fire, which is in Idaho, and, well, they're talking about how this is the command center set up at a high school, and, yeah, we got evacuations. For the Keithley fire, those living within this area, evacuations happening all over. It seems we've got the Douglas County near the BB Bridge. And this, I believe, just started within the last day or two. This is in Spokane, Washington. There is a wildfire burning in Douglas County. It is near the BB Bridge. The Department of Natural Resources says the Chelan Hills fire is burning around 400 acres. It is along the Columbia River. Now, Highway 97 is closed in both directions near State Route 2 from milepost 213 to 235. This is north of Wenatchee. Five airplanes, three helicopters, and ground crews are responding to this fire. So, um, we've got to watch these there. fires. I mean, are these going to blow up and take out homes? And yes, I am particularly... Uh, I, I'm a German Shepherd lover. I'm a four-legged lover, but I German Shepherds, dogs, cats evacuated, staying in shelters. This causes so much disruption, but the Cranston fire, which I posted a video on a couple of days ago, more evacuations have been ordered. It has now grown. No, it's not at 7,500 acres. It's now at 13, 13 plus thousand acres. This was posted two days ago. And this, you can listen to Congressman Raul Ruiz, uh, 
Uh, he's touring the Cranston Fire Burn area, and just listen to a few minutes of what he has to say. One of the things that really impressed me initially was how fast it spread from 24 acres to 2,400 acres in a matter of minutes. And now it's at 11,000. Uh, we know that the mountain fire from uh, 2013 went all the way to 27,000. And so this is becoming a, it is a serious fire. And it was one of the most threatening fires in the whole state of California. And I'm very glad to see that, uh, that these uh, fine men and women are, are, are professionals. They're highly skilled, highly trained. They're doing their job. They're uh, working together in a unified manner. Uh, and I'm here to assess how many people have been displaced from their homes. How many people? Well, when I originally posted, I think they said 3,000 had been evacuated. Now it's 7,500 evacuated. It's now not, no, this was yesterday. He says 11 plus acres. 11,000 plus acres. Well, now it's 13 plus acres. How many more homes are going to be taken out? And look at this picture. You know, you see, you see the vegetation all around, but it's just the home burning up. Apparently, well, based on what I know, it's only five homes that were destroyed, but it's threatening more homes. Now, you know, I just kind of bumped into this video and I have to say, I am really tired of listening to Christians who just don't care and actually want people in California to burn up. Now, I'm not saying that Stranger Than Fiction News said that directly, but he's calling it Sodom and Gomorrah and then says, you know, the only way that we can return to, I don't know, I'm paraphrasing greatly, um, to a decent society, a healthy society, is for people to return to the Bible. Well, let me tell you, I am really, uh, there's an awful lot of people in the world and not everybody is Christian and not everybody needs the Bible in order to, to live rightly, behave rightly, and considering how many Christians we have who clearly are very knowledgeable about the Bible because they're leaving the quotes, their hearts and minds are very sick and twisted. Gotta say it, I've been deleting comments off of my videos that I posted on the fires in California. I have to say, I'm getting less hatred this time with this fire, but last year it was exploding. How many people burn, burn down, burn the whole state down, the socialists, the gays, the uh, Democrats. The, do you know that there's an, a, a, a wide range of people out in California that there are Republicans? No, oh my God, there are Christians. And uh, there are people who uh, read the Bible in California. Um, but does it matter? When you think, when you read these comments, and then I think to myself, they're so far away from Jesus, so far from having any kind of Christ consciousness, and so far from having their heart transformed by Jesus. And boy, these kinds of things, you, you know, look, this is causing an awful lot of anger, of division, and I really hope that the Christians who are leaving these comments, wow, man, just think to yourself, would Jesus say what I am saying? Would Jesus think how I am thinking? Because I can tell you the answer, no, no. So if you all think you're getting into heaven, you better think again. So, yeah, evacuations going on all over. Um, Ontario, Vancouver, wildfire just broke out 
in a suburb in Richmond. This is Canada. And, well, this fire seems to have, it's burning underground. It's a wildfire burning underground, creating a challenge for firefighters. Well, yeah, I'd say so. It's British Columbia. Um, wildfire that broke out early Friday, Friday in the Vancouver suburbs presents a more hidden challenge because it's underground. It's burning through a marshy wetland of dead plant life and moss. And the flames aren't necessarily visible above ground. Let's hope that that doesn't reach homes. An Alberta firefighter died fighting the forest fires in Ontario. And this was just posted. He was the father of a 10-year-old boy. So these firefighters in Ontario, guess what? Um, well, they're still raging out of control. Didn't I post a video on these fires like a week ago? Uh, the fires in Ontario? And I feel like I'm reading the same numbers. 43 active forest fires across northeast Ontario and 13 of which are out of control. Out of control. Still. 10 days later. Yeah. Actually it was because this article was 11 days ago. Oh, I'm sorry. This is British Columbia. What? It's hard to keep track of all of the wildfires. British Columbia. These fires prompted a state of emergency. Uh, more than 180 wildfires burning in the western Canadian province of British Columbia, prompting the authorities to declare a state of emergency. Um, oh, Christ, I'm sorry. This was uh, 2017. And I'm sorry if I offended any Christians because I said, oh, Christ. Okay, well, Jesus and I have had a conversation about that, and he kind of laughs, and he goes, it's, it's really fine. Um, so, this was 2017, but isn't it interesting that with these fires, I mean, they're happening every single year. And now, because they're normal, well, look at the California fires, that they're just happening like six, eight months apart, taking out so many homes. Canadian wildfires making smoky haze above the Upper Peninsula, you guys are getting an awful lot of smoke from the Ontario fires in uh, the Upper and Lower Peninsula of Michigan, I'm sorry. All right, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, leave you with this. This is an incident map. The wildfires. You click on this and you'll get information about every wildfire that is happening in our country. And look at all of them out west. California. You've got an awful lot of them. Um, Cranston fire. 13,118 acres. It's now 29%. Good. Two minutes ago it was updated. 29%. Contained. Very good. Now, I've clicked on a lot of them, and it seems that um, some fires you get an awful lot of information, and some you get very little. But you do get telephone numbers and other uh, organizations or websites where you can go for more information. But they do they do tell you where the evacuations are taking place, the recreation closures, an awful lot of state parks and campgrounds. It does seem that an awful lot of resorts, Greece uh, and Ontario, and campgrounds, and look at Yosemite, the fire, Yellowstone being closed. It does seem like an awful lot of our national uh, forests 
they're closing these campgrounds, resort areas. I guess they just don't want us to have any fun, perhaps. And one of the, when you do click on some of these sites, they actually have links to, um, links to Twitter. And having looked at the Twitter pages, you can find an awful lot of an awful lot of um, good information. But when you look at the amount of acreage being burned up, and yes, I know wildfires, okay, but I don't know. I, I think that we're seeing more and more wildfires. Look at Idaho. Uh, Oregon and you don't seem to have one for Spokane yet I guess I'm Portland you have a wildfire Eagle Creek wildfire it's a hundred percent contained thank God but it burned up 40 nearly 50,000 acres um, the timber crater 65 percent contained that's taken out 3,125. The well backfire, 4,000. Updated three hours ago. So you just take go to incident and you'll find information. And oh, the well back. Well, you've got now evacuations, uh, mandatory evacuations in Susanville, California, in Spalding, or uh, I should say 20 miles northwest of Susanville. California. The fire is burning south of the community of Spalding on the western edge of Eagle Lake. Mandatory evacuations for their recreation sites and Spalding track. All right, guys. Well, I'll link below to everything. I hope that everybody is safe and will remain safe and for everyone in your community communities you know if if people are needing help let's reach out and give them help have a good night guys